Crystal Paradise Resort in Crystal Ray. Our friend Abden suggested it when we were looking for some place different this year. He knows Barb's likes to take pictures of birds, so it seemed pretty natural. When we arrived, it was pretty obvious where to park and where to go. There's a great big sign that says, Follow the path to the reception area. It's also the dining area as well, but Albo will tell you all about that when you get down and sign in. She'll give you the grand tour, starting with the dining room and the self-serve lounge. There's a huge deck with feeders, and the birds will arrive early every day. Alba will show you to your cabana or your cabin, whichever one you've got. They're all a little bit different, but they're all beautiful. Each unit was actually handmade by the Toot family, the people you're staying with. They have units designed for couples or for larger family groups. And one thing we noticed right off the bat was the hot water never ran out. <laughs> Always good after a day out adventuring. One of the units even has a loft with double single beds upstairs. The property is quite large, so there's lots of green spaces between the units to keep your privacy. Many of the decks are completely screened off to keep you away from the wildlife if needed. The gardens are full of beautiful flowers that may or may not be in bloom depending on the season. All of the pathways are raised for the rainy season so that you don't have to get your feet wet. At the end of this pathway, this gentleman was rethatching a roof a skill that is getting harder and harder to find. Now here are some of Barb's birds, all caught from this deck. This little guy is a resident. We're pretty sure we saw him often. There was some big glass on the deck to catch these birds, and in the afternoon the birders seemed to come back to relax and compare notes. The property is quite large with many walking trails to go and find your own adventure. There's also a road that goes down to the bottom by the river where you can take a canoe and go for a little paddle. There are many things to do in the direct area. Birding, horseback riding, cave tubing, zip lining, ruins, all kinds of things that you can reach with a short drive from Crystal Paradise Resort. We'd like to thank the Toot family for their marvelous hospitality. The people were friendly, the food was fantastic, and you couldn't ask for anything more. Stand by for part two as we came back at the end of this trip. As always, thanks for watching. Maybe subscribe? How about sharing? Thanks again. Bye.